Welcome to the basics of loading of steels part 1. Loading is a plastic deformation process of reducing the thickness or changing the cross section of a long steel workpiece by compressive forces exerted by the two opposing rolls. The rolls rotate, pulls the workpiece and simultaneously squeeze it the workpiece between them. Rolling is the most widely used forming process which provides high production rates and close control of the final product. The gap between the rotating rolls is less than the thickness of entering workpiece. Therefore, a friction force is necessary in order to bite the workpiece and to pull it through the rolls. A steel workpiece passing through the rotating roll is squeezed and it elongates while its cross section area decreases. The slide shows what rolls, a, ro a set of rolls, there are five rolls are shown, they are the raw rolls, they are supposed to be assembled on the, with the bearings and shots and in case of shape rolling they are to be drooped. The rolls must be made of materials with high strength and resistance to wear. Common materials used for making rolls are cast iron, cast steel and forged steel. Forged steel has higher strength due to stiffness and toughness but they cost more, they are costly rolls. Tungsten turbine rolls are costliest rolls. They are used normally for fire rod mills and light section mills finishing stands. The, in case of tolerary mills, the rolls are polished as well as polished rolls are used for special applications. Rolls are heat specific. Any misuse results in heat setting and spalling. Rotating rolls perform two main functions. They pull the workpiece into the gap between them by friction between workpiece and rolls. Simultaneously, simultaneously squeeze the workpiece to reduce the cross section. Rolling mill stand is used for housing the rolls for rolling of the workpiece. They are put normally in the house rolling mill stands which acts as a house for work roll. A typical rolling mill stand consists of a pair of roll driven by an electric motor transmitting a torque through a gear box and pair of charging shafts. The rolls are equipped with bearings and mounted in a stand with a screw down mechanism. Here Peter shows a cross section of the stand. They are shown as a flat product stand. There are two work rolls are there. The work piece is there. This is only a schematic diagram. There is a screw down mechanism electrically driven by a motor. And this is they remain under tension. Roll force are applied here and because of that roll bending takes place because of the screw down there. This shows a schematic of the four high rolling mill stand. There are two better rolls, two work rolls and work piece pass this is work piece. There are two shots are shown for the better rolls and the screw down mechanism is shown here. It can be either electrically driven or a hydraulic driven and this is the stand in which houses the rolls and shots. The rolling mill stands, the road arrangement can be two high mill. In two high mill there are two rolls. Between them the work piece passes. In three high mill there are three ro rolls. Middle roll is normally friction driven 
by the top and bottom rolls are driven. What piece passes in one direction from top roll and middle roll and in opposite direction from middle roll and bottom roll. Middle roll acts as a bottom roll for the top pass and acts as a top roll for the bottom pass. Four high mill contains four rolls, two, back, two outer rolls are backup rolls, there are two worth rolls and worth piece passes through the worth roll. Sanji mill mill or thruster mill normally used for stainless steel rolling has very two small worth rolls supported by four backup rolls. These four backup rolls are supported by six backup rolls and six backup rolls is supported by eight backup rolls. One can see that each roll is supported by two rolls, whether it is worth roll or backup roll, each roll is supported by two rolls. Some rolls are driven rolls, some rolls are fixed and driven rolls. And there is a screw down mechanism there for the there. Now planetary mills consist of two big backup rolls and there are a large number of planetary rolls are there on the backup rolls and what piece pass, passes through in one pass and is rolled simultaneously by a number of work rolls, planetary rolls and in one pass the final size is being obtained. No, planetary mills is normally used for the flight products. Now rolling process can be divided into two, can be totalized into two types based on temperature of rolling. It is hot rolling or cold rolling process. Hot rolling process, the workpiece is deformed above recrystallization temperature regions and there is no strain hardening of the workpiece. The inundated drain that's equalized because the recrystallization temperatures is available there. Hot rolling of shapes is done with roof rolls. In cold rolling process, the passive deformation takes place the below the crystallization temperature region and stain hardening which takes place during the work during the rolling process remains there, it does not that relief. And four rolling provides good surface finish, increased metal interest strength and good control of the product dimensions. This figure shows the drain as it takes place in hot rolling large equalized stain that elongated and this that becomes smaller equalized strain by recrystallization process while in the case of total volume elongated strain does not that equalized there and remain elongated times and the steel remains in hardened condition. Rolling process can also be divided into two types based on the geometry of the roll products. The flat products rolls are hot roll twirls, strips, toll roll twirls, strips, plates, stelps, etc. And shaped roll products are bars, rounds, various sections, beams, angles, shiners, T's, rails, and tube roll products. Here one can see the flat rolls. Slab is been rolling. Slab is the initial product, starting material. It's rolled in hostel mill in the form of hot rolled twirls, then it is pitted in the acid, maybe sulfuric acid or hydrochloric acid, and then rolled in a toll rolling mill. Slabs can be rolled in the form of stelp, and stelp can be banked in the pipe form and then welded to make a welded pipe. Or it can be rolled in a white plate mill to produce plates which, that, which is normally used for ship building and other uses. In case of shape mill rollings, the starting material is either brooms or pillars. Pillars are used for smaller products and brooms are used for the bigger products. And billets are used for hot rod bars which can be further drawn in the as a toll down bars, it can be rolled as wire rod, which can be done as a wires and wire products. It can be produced as a tube rolling in the form of seamless 
seamless tube or it can be rolled as a section it can be i beams or sections other sections or it can be rolled as rails this slide tapes the tube rolls and flat rolls for the shows the various types of products being rolled here the tube rolls part products here the wire rod products here the sectional product here the i beams here the channel here one can see the i beams here again the smaller channel here the flat products and here the angles are being rolled this is the rail being rolled here now shape products the shape is in is been obtained in step by step in a number of process the starting material is solely is the shape of the starting material is solely changed to final product here a few shapes are shown but the number of passes are many more in wire or mill it may be as as high as 25 passes and one can see how the shapes are being developed here is rail i beams channel angle wire rods and rounds there are large number of passes are there for the development of shapes this is a picture pictorial they shown the rolling of i beams the in initial loading in two high strain and then two high strain further reduction then four high strains one can see the fringes are being developed and then four high strains being rolled fringes and web are being reduced here again two high strain two high strain and final pass is in four high strain the final product i beam is being rolled this shows a three high mill top roll middle roll bottom roll this is pass number 1 pass number 2 pass number 3 and pass number 4 then after each pass the bar is reversed to go into the rolling mills and this reversal has to take place in a three high mill this shows the uh, typical unisher beam rolling unisher beam rolling room or beam plant is initial material this is the 18 furnace then steel is removed in the stirrer then first roll in the fin mill then intermediate mill agin mill and final mill this is the final hp mill been rolled product is been straightened in a leveler and then tooled in a tooling bed this is four high stand being shown vertical rolls and horizontal rolls and how the pass is been developed and final hp is been rolled thank you for the presentation of the rolling mills rolling of steel basic part 1